cobalt blue. The cobalt blue has this beautiful, again, granulation, but also mixes really beautifully. It has almost kind of like a creamy finish to it, which I really like. Um, okay, so let's start now introducing just a little bit. Oh, it's quite strong. Now, Core has Aquazol, and you see what happens if you introduce Aquazol into watercolors. It becomes very much dominant, and it pushes colors very quickly. So that's what happened there. Look, so them two together basically create these purpley cobbled colors. And then you start going into more of the violets. I'm just going to mix in a bit more of the cobalt. Look how it just pushes things. And let's try a little bit more cobbled. There you go. That's pretty beautiful purple. That's a purple I like. It's like a bluey purple. Okay, so that was that. Um, let's think of something else. Okay, so I thought while I'm here with the cobbled, I want to try that cadmium red with it. And I'm not expecting anything groundbreaking because it is cadmium red. And cadmium red, in my case, cadmium red light, will have a bit of that opacity. So let's see what happens. There is our cadmium red light. I'm expecting more of Maria. You see, it's very opaque. Uh, more of sort of Maria mixes here. Just picking up some of this color is a bit too much. And then I'm going to do the cobalt blue. So let's see. Next to each other, they look beautiful, don't they? Because they really offset one another. But that usually what happens in a mix, they don't really work. So let's see. Okay, so tiny bit and it's starting to neutralize immediately. Not into a very nice color, but it actually is not too bad. It's like a Venetian red type of a color. But very soon we'll get to the muddy colors. So you can see. There's another one which is like Luna red of sorts. And then I'm going to add a bit more. And you can see we're almost now grey. And I will try to load up straight onto here a bit more of the cobalt. And then it looks like we need a bit more. So going closer to the cobalt, so I'm just going to add a bit more. Now these are doing something really beautiful. Cobalt blue, the reason it's expansive, I don't know about oil paints, but in watercolors it does do some really magical things, such as separating the pigments, and you can see what's happening here. Uh, you'll have that kind of pigment separation that is quite special and unique. And um, cobalts are still to this day, uh, you know, seen as quite an expensive color. That's a beautiful color here. 
quite liking. Okay, well, this is really nice. I almost feel bad, like, washing this off. I think I'll keep it and just clear up a little space here for mixing my next colors. Okay, I actually enjoyed the cobalt blue so much that I decided to use it again, this time with the yellow. I'm just going to add quite a bit of water to it. And let's put it this way here. Yeah. And yellow or cadmium yellow light. This is the what was it? Lemon something. That was recommended. Cadmium lemon. So if you have that cadmium yellow, um, cadmium lemon, then you can try it. Um, and that's it. And then we're just going to introduce tiny bit of that yellow into here so I think I'll go this side and then just hmm I've done it a bit wrong but anyway so that's that's the color I should have started that's fine now I'm going to add more of the cobalt blue and we'll start adding more of it still. This is almost the same as before so I'm just going to go into more cobalt. And even more, and I'll do last one quite intensely if I can find a bit more of the cobalt. I'm using it from this palette right here. This, this oh, this is quite beautiful, it's like a turquoise. This is very pretty. So when these will dry, I'm expecting the same thing to happen, so the cobalt will separate. Okay, last color, let's see. So you can see already how beautiful it is. Obviously I used these first two um, and this one to neutralize each other, so they are still kind of on a mute side. But then the brights are here, so I'm going to pick now two other colors. Um, to use in a mix, hopefully to showcase the brightness uh, and vividness of his colors. Since uh, Van Gogh was using a lot of yellows in his um, paintings, and I think there was a quote somewhere where he would call the um, yellow uh, a, a color of sun, so a color of light and luminosity, I will go for the other yellow in his palette, which was the Chromium Yellow Hue Deep, which is this color right here, so this color. And I am planning to see what other greens I can get, so I'm going to put that color right here and mix it this time with the Ultramarine Finest. Oh, I shouldn't have washed my brush off as I will need this color right here. So ultramarine finest or ultramarine or French ultramarine would be a fairly close match to a cobalt blue but obviously there's a difference there which you can see it's lighter and also has more granulation still and the color separation. But let's see what happens when we mix those two. So we should get some interesting um, interesting greens, I'm, I'm hoping. So here is our chromium yellow hue deep, was it? Yeah, okay. So what I would do is just slightly introduce 
or slowly rather introduce that blue into it. Just a tiny bit to begin with. Oh, no, these don't mix very nicely. <laughs> anyway, they neutralize each other quite a lot. Hmm. I was hoping for this sort of kind of muddy greens, but like more of sort of sap green. But yeah, the yellow is not the right one here. Oh look, we're starting to get to olive greens. Not exactly what I had in mind, but that's okay. And let's do one more. Mm, this is quite a nice color actually. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Actually, these colors at the end here, I really enjoy them. Okay, so that is it for today's episode uh, we can definitely if i flip through carefully to the previous mixes you will see a difference there so if we look at these colors and these we can see a lot of color there um, but what i will do in the final episode is i'll create two color wheels picking um two different yellows two different reds and two different blues and see what sort of mixes we can get because from having a variety of yellows, reds and blues you can create more brighter color palette and more of a kind of like a neutral color palette. So we will look at that and then you'll have a better idea of what sort of um, colors um, he was able to mix like we did here with the color wheel it always helps to put things into one place and get a better idea. We'll also do um, mixing with the white as we did here and with, in this case it was ivory black, but I will use sepia brown to neutralize things a little bit and see how that will change things around because I really like these mixes with um, sepia brown and the blues. They're beautiful. So I am expecting something a little bit more nicer looking than we had mostly here although I do like this one this mix here all right so that's it for today see you in the next episode